G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now today we're going to learn all about the new SharePoint Brand Center and specifically how you can bring your own fonts and use them in your SharePoint sites. We're going to upload your fonts, we're going to create a font package and then we're going to use that font package and apply that to a SharePoint site. So let's get stuck into it. We can see here that I'm in the SharePoint admin or the, the Microsoft 365 admin center now under the settings blade here under org settings I've got this brand center preview now I'm going to enter into our brand center now I don't already have what's called an organizational assets library or organizational assets site deployed to this tenant so what here is uh, what we're going what's going to happen here is that this is all going to be set up for me so we can see that it's going to provision a site called the brand guide we can name this however we like uh, and then it's giving us a suggested URL again we can change this to whatever uh, uh, makes sense to your organization and again another prereq here is a public CDN activation and you need to agree to activate this site as your official brand center site and turn on the brand center app for use in the organization and any uploaded files here uh, will be stored in the cloud and managed in a public content delivery network CDN for short and the file are going to be accessible to anyone who is able to extract the URLs that point to them. So we do need to agree to this and activate uh, the public CDN. So once we've agreed to this, we've got our name, we've got our URL, we're just going to hit create site. That's going to provision everything for us. It's going to activate the public CDN. It's going to provision a SharePoint site for us and it's nice and quick. Now we can see here, we've got our site set up and we've got the brand center app. So I'm just going to copy the link to the brand center app. I'll open up a new tab. I'll paste the URL in there as well. Well, now I'm just going to jump back onto this tab. Uh, I'll copy the link to the, the entire brand uh, guide site and I'll also paste that in here. Uh, and we can see that we've got a SharePoint communication site, just the stock standard SharePoint communication site. But what we also do have is a uh, an application that is called the Brand Center. Now we can see that it is still in preview and we've got the ability here in this Brand Center app to be able to add our fonts. Okay, and then once we've added our fonts, we can create what we call a font package. So let's add our fonts. Now I've got, I've downloaded, I've gone to Google Fonts, I've downloaded and we'll go through this process in a second as well. I've already downloaded uh, a font uh, called Outfit. So the first step is I'm going to add my fonts. I'll click on that big tile and you can see that I'm taken to this brand fonts page. I can upload my fonts. I'm going to click on the upload button here. Now this is where I can choose my fonts. So I'm just going to navigate to my fonts here. Um, and there's my font folder and I've got my outfit font. I've downloaded it from Google fonts. I've extracted it. I'm going to then uh, select all of these font files and I'm going to open these. Uh, and you can see that these are now being uploaded. I've got these uploaded into this brand fonts library here and we're now good to go. So if I jump back onto the brand center app, you can see I've now got my brand fonts uploaded. Now we need to create what we call a font package. So I'm gonna click on SharePoint here and we can create our font package. I'll hit the plus button and again here we've got we go through a step-by-step -step process so we can see our display font now the display fonts are used sparingly to emphasize these uh, important items choose a display font that uh, uniquely represents your brand and now if we had multiple fonts here we could choose different fonts I've only got one uploaded at the moment so we'll use outfit now the content font uh, is, uh, is used widely to ensure consistency and uh, legibility uh, at all sites, choosing something versatile and easy to read. So again, we could choose a different font. Now what we might do, let's jump over to Google Fonts and we might choose and we'll download another font. 
So I'm just gonna jump to Google Fonts. Let's go to Fonts. We might choose uh, Roboto here. So I'm going to click on this font. I'll go get font and I'm going to download this font. You can see it downloads as a zip file, which means I can then unzip this. So I'm just gonna uh, extract all and we are now going to extract my file and that's now been extracted. If I jump back to my brand center, I'm just going to stop creating this font package and I'll go back to our brand center and I'm going to go to my brand fonts. This time I'm gonna upload some more fonts. Instead of outfit, I'm gonna just jump to downloads. Uh, we'll go to Roboto and now I'm going to select all. I'll unselect the, I'll unselect the license though. Uh, and then we'll open. So again, now what we're doing is we're uploading 12 different variations here of uh, Roboto font. We'll jump back. Let's now create a font package. All right, so now we've got two different fonts. So for my content font, what we might wanna do is choose a different font. Now we can see here that I've got uh, for a display font, I've got uh, outfit and for the content font, I've now got Roboto, I'll hit next. Now title, headline and body. Now for the body, I wanna use Roboto. Now for the headlines and for the title, I'm going to use outfit. I'm gonna choose the style. So here I can choose uh, bold, thin, black, bold, uh, extra bold. I'm just gonna choose bold. Uh, now the headline, again, actually what we might do for the title, let's just choose extra bold. Now for the headline, we will choose bold. Uh, and the body, let's choose regular for our body. If I keep scrolling down here, I've got one more, which is our interactive font. So the interactive font is used for items that trigger actions, so buttons and things like that. I'm gonna choose outfit, but this time I'm going to choose thin for our, uh, our interactive font here. So I'll click next. We can give our uh, font package a name. So I'm going to say, uh, this is my Copilot Studio font package. We'll make it visible and we'll hit save. So that's now created what we call a font package. Now, how do we use this font package now? Well, let's open up a SharePoint site. So I'm just going to jump to uh, my SharePoint app. We'll open up a, uh, let's open up the landing. So we'll open up the landing. Here is my uh, intranet, my SharePoint communication site. It's got the default um, font, obviously. Now, when I hit up into change the look, what I've now got is this font preview option. Now, when I click font preview, you can see I've got the available font packages. And here, from my organization, I've got Copilot Studio. You can see I've also got some out of the box font packages that come with micro, uh, that Microsoft provide us uh, in this scenario. Now I'm going to choose the one that we've just created. So let's choose Copilot Studio. And now we can see that we've got um, that font package applied. And we can see when I hover over the uh, navigation items up here, we can see that we've got our font applied. I'll hit save. And now that's going to be applied. We've got our bold headlines and our bold titles. Um, now if I scroll down here, I'll click on a news uh, uh, item here. Now you can see that I've got my uh, my body copy as Roboto, I've got my headlines and my titles as outfit. But we can see up here, Maybe not ideal, it's a little bit light for the, the navigation items here. So what we could do is we can jump in and go back to our font package uh, and we can edit the package here. Now we've got interactive, we've got this as thin. So what we might do is let's change this interactive to, let's go semi bold and we'll hit save. So that will now change that uh, thin font now across into semi-bold, which will make uh, a, a big difference. So now if we refresh our page, 
uh, it'll just take a little bit of time to uh, to come through. Now, what we might do is let's just have a look and we'll go to change the look. We'll go to font. Let's ch have a look at one of the other. So Aptos here, the new default font. Let's have a look and see what that looks like. So we'll hit save. And now what we've got is that font package there too. All right, so the titles, we've got our body copy, uh, just as serif, and we've got up the top the navigation here. Let's jump back to change the look. We'll go to font preview. We'll go to uh, change back to our, our, our organizational font. We'll hit save. Now you can see here, the navigation has now been saved to a little bit uh, to the font that we've just changed. So from light to semi bold, you can see that that's made that uh, a, a lot more readable across the navigation. We'll jump back to the home page, And again, we can see that we've got our font applied across all um, of our, our our SharePoint environment now. So there we have it, the SharePoint Brand Center. Bring your own font, upload your fonts into the Brand Center app, create your font package, and then you can utilize that across your SharePoint sites. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.